Persona Fusion can be very daunting, especially because there are a lot of different types of Personas that all learn different skills who also all belong to different specific Arcanas. The game also doesn't really do a good job about telling you how to go about fusing Personas aside from A plus B equals C. Now I understand there is something inherently fun about discovering new Personas by fusing random ones together to see what you can get. But this can be a very time consuming process, not to mention costly because to fuse Personas again and again and again costs a lot of money. So in this video I will be telling you my process on how I fuse Personas in the game. This will include how to go about determining what Personas you want, what skills you want on them, and even go into detail about the range of Personas you may want to consider taking to Tartarus or boss fights. I will also be going through how to eliminate weaknesses in the process. If you are enjoying the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. It really does help the channel and it is greatly appreciated. Thanks everyone! Alrighty, so we're going to be doing another off-the-cuff video. Um, so that was the intro, so thanks everyone for uh, tuning in. Um, Timestamps will be down below, so you can skip ahead if you want to. Um, so we're going to be going to the Velvet Room, and we're just going to be going through basically a bunch of different methods to go through Fusion and whatnot. So pretty much, you can just go into the Velvet Room, um, and then you can just select the uh, Fusion button, sorry. Um, and then we can go to Fusion Search. So this is one method of doing it, um, and this is what I mean by... Uh, selecting basically random personas that you can fuse together. So this is a pretty good indication of basically whatever is in your persona stock um, can create this, like these personas essentially. So for example, um, we, uh, by fuse by result, I can get Hellbiker with Siegfried or Kuchelain. Um, or I could get a Kombanda with Komokten and Suzaku. Now keep in mind, this will be mostly towards where your level is. So obviously I won't be able to fuse Hellbiker because I am not actually at level 65, um, so I can't fuse it. However, with Kumbanda, I actually can fuse that one. So you can see um, that I can fuse it um, because I am actually at level 61. Now you can eliminate all that searching and, and guesswork, uh, especially because you know once you fuse these personas, you're going to have to buy them back and it's just a whole process. And you can pretty much eliminate that whole process by just pretty much going to um, an online fusion calculator, which I have here. So this fusion calculator um, is uh, new. I'm not actually sure who it's by. Um, so I'll link the YouTube video, the channel, as well as this fusion calculator in the description below. And essentially these are the entire range of combinations that you can possibly get throughout Persona 3 Reload. Now, people have used Persona 3's uh, fusion calculator and Persona 3's you know, FES and portables. Uh, I believe they do not work. Um, I'm sure some of them probably carry over, but mostly I believe these are all new. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, however, you know, Persona 3 Reload Fusion Calculator, it is out, so definitely use it. Now, there are a few caveats that you should probably know about. First of all, it's DLC Personas. Now, I found this out the hard way when I'm, I was trying to fuse some Personas, and basically it wouldn't let me fuse the Persona I wanted purely because I, you know, it was basically a DLC friggin' persona, so uh, it fused into a BLC persona. So you can go to fusion settings um, and just make sure that you tick um, under downloadable content. Now I've got these all ticked, however when you go through it the first time these won't be ticked, so make sure you tick all them. However from what I've seen, it still doesn't calculate the fusions based on um, the, the, um, the downloadable content. So for example if you're fusing into a persona, so uh, let's just say if I'm fusing into a Futsunushi, um, this, this is not the case, by the way, this is just purely a, a demonstration. For example, I wanted to fuse a Mishiguchi with a Balzebel. Um, essentially, sometimes what happens is it says that you can use Mishiguchi and Balzebel to fuse into a Futsunushi. However, it might actually come out as like Captain Kid or something. So just keep that in mind. Um, however, uh, in terms of the ingredients, it will list um, the DLC personas as an ingredient that you can use. So example here. I can fuse Loki with Anat, so Anat being from um, uh, Makoto's uh, ultimate persona in Persona 5. Um, so yeah, you can fuse Loki and Anat and it'll also give you Futsunushi. So that's one caveat that should be that you should be aware of. Alright, so how I go about fusing personas is basically just looking at what I sort of need um, and what I sort of want, right? So a recommendation from myself would be, obviously when you're going through titles you want every single elemental infinity. So for example, in my case, uh, if I just go to my persona quickly, um, I can see that, you know, you obviously want someone who can learn the fire, wind, electric, and ice. You also want someone who can heal. 
um, do all the healing necess uh, necessary, um, as well as like status status ailments, um, as well as buffers and debuffers. Um, when you go through Tartarus, um, obviously you want to try and show up weaknesses or have a good spread of um, affinities. Now, speaking of having a good spread spread of affinities, so for example, I usually always think about okay, I need I need a physical damage dealer just in case the the opponent has you know sets up. Uh, uh, Makara Khans, for example, that I can't get magic damage in, or they might just be resistant to all magic damage and, and I just need a physical damage dealer. So, for example, I go and look at the Persona Calculator and I go, oh cool, Siegfried is a physical damage dealer type, that's awesome. And then, for example, I've got one backup for, for Komoku Ten. For example, your buffer, debuffer, I've got Kuchulain, so I go into the Persona Calculator and I go, okay cool, Kuchulain can learn Torrent Shot, Matara Kaja, Day Kaja, blah blah blah. And all this sort of um, utility skills, my Rakunda, and go, cool, that's 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 exactly what I need. And then, you know, I'll just basically go through and I go, okay, cool, Clotho can learn Matarunda and all this sort of stuff, or can inherit Matarunda, has Mampatra, has Umbrita Drop, it's good for status ailments, great. And then, um, you know, you pay, basically just go through. So then, for example, Titania has Buvudine, Mabufula, and then you've got Suzaku who has Miragian, and then Agidine. And then you've got this Mishaguji to Maz Mazionga and as well as Zeodyne. So you basically go, okay, cool, I cover everything. Um, and I've got someone who can use uh, Garudine, Magarudine. Someone can use AI, Aga, and then, you know, Hama skills, and then Koga, Kogan skills, etc., etc. So, for example, uh, in this video, I'm going to be looking at uh, three specific um, uh, personas. And that is uh, the Crit Machine Siegfried. I'm going to be looking at Ku Chilane as well. And I'm also going to be looking at uh, Titania. So where is Titania? There's Titania. So I specifically highlighted these three is because these three are actually very good mid game personas, especially around the October to November months, especially rolling into uh, December into January. Um, but then obviously when you get to January, you'll be much higher level and you can start using some of the ultimate personas of uh, maxed out. Um, social link ranks and, and whatnot but Siegfried is really really good very good physical damage dealer very good crit machine um, I do have two builds with Siegfried that I suggest doing um, which I'll go into um, Kuchin Lane is really good because it gives you um, end game sort of uh, debuffs and it also gives you uh, Dekaja which is really really good for nullifying stat, de uh, stat debuffs uh, sorry stat buffs for, for opponents basically because a lot of people start using Heat Riser in the, in the, in the mid to late game and it also gives you charge, so your next physical attack does double damage. And then also I've got Titania, so I haven't actually leveled up Titania fully, but I needed Titania for uh, purely for concentrate, which is essentially charge, but for the magic variant. So basically what I do is I, I have a look at my level. So I'm currently level 61, 62, and then I have go back to the fusion calculator. So I basically go back to the persona calculator and I essentially just go through and have a look at, um, you know, the, the personas around my level that I could possibly uh, fuse. So, for example, um, you know, in the Magician Icona, I could get Cert, like I'm, I'm just above level 60, so I can get Cert. However, I can't get Futsunushi. Well, Futsunushi I can't get anyway because I haven't maxed out the social link, but that's, that's I'll explain that. Um, I can also get a Rainda, for example, M uh, Mercurius, which is DLC persona. I can get a Robberus, you know, I can get, I can get basically everyone in the, magi in, in the Magician, except for the, um, the max rank. Uh, in the precess, I can get a Kikuri Hime, I can get a Ganga, Saravasti, etc, etc. It's basically, pretty much I just go through what I can get. So for example, for Siegfried, let's just take Siegfried as an example. So Siegfried is a strength arcana and he's level 54, right? So essentially what I do is I go, cool, I've got level 54 Siegfried. And eventually, I essentially just click on him. And as you can see, it gives you basically all the resistances, nulls, uh, and weaknesses for that particular persona. It gives you the base stats, um, and it gives you the buyback price, but that is the base level buyback price. So for example, if this eventually ends up fusing and you get the AXP bonus, blah, blah, and it goes up to like 60, then this price will, will, will differ to that. Um, and then, yeah, you can see inheritable skills. So you can see you can inherit mostly everything except for uh, status element skills as well as dark skills. Um, it also, this calculator gives you the learn skills. So you can see um, you've got these innate skills. So these are comes with the persona fusion basically. 
Um, and then you also have these particular skills that will be learned via level up. So a tip about level up is you can see that this is level 54 and you might be thinking, oh, I do it. does that mean I have to grind and grind to like level 61 to get slash amp, for example? It's like, yes and no. So you can grind um, and then definitely don't forget to um, check out the video about my EXP grinding with the Reaper as well as Treasure Hands. Um, uh, go check that one out. Um, so you can grind like the normal method or what you can do is rely on your social link um, EXP bonuses uh, in order to level up. So for example, um, if we look at uh, Siegfried, for example, uh, if we go to Social Link and we go down to the Strength Arcana, you can see that with the Strength Arcana or uh, uh, New Yuko Nishiwaki, uh, you can see that I'm rank 9, which means that I'll get a quite a decent chunk um, of EXP towards um, the Persona Fusion, essentially, which essentially means that I can innately level up through Fusion um, straight away. So let's take this for an example, right? So uh, obviously I've got Siegfried, but let's just say we're going to fuse... Uh, uh, actually, I think my tower is max. So let's just say I'm going to fuse a Bishama 10, right? So I've got max rank tower. So this will essentially give me essentially max rank EXP bonuses towards the tower arcana. Okay, so you can see I've got 160,867 uh, social link bonus towards Bishama 10. So on average, if you don't really want to like go in and calculate every single individual level on average around about anything above rank 5 social link is approximately three persona levels so for example if we look at bashama 10s in the uh in the calculator so you can see bashama 10 comes in at level 60 you can see it learns these skills 61 62 and 64 so let's just say you know my tower social link is like rank 5 rank 6 whatever and then basically you can come down and sort of, you know, say to yourself, okay, I'm going to get about three levels through just fusing. I don't have to grind or anything, just fusing. So then you think to yourself, okay, cool. So that means level 61, it will learn myriad arrows. Level 62, it will learn uh, crit rate amp. And then at level 63, which we are, it doesn't learn anything. And I need to be level 64 in order to learn primal force. And then obviously 66 for pierce amp. So that is something that you can sort of consider as well. So you might be thinking, oh, you know, it's a bit of a grind to get all these skills. Some of them you will have to because inevitably you won't be max rank in that social link. But in saying that, some of them you might even just want, for example, I just want crit rate amp. That's all I really want. So then I go, okay, 60 and then go to 62. Social link's like five or whatever. And it was like, cool. I, that means I can level up. That's awesome. That means I can get crit rate amp and that's it. And then if I get primal force, that's great. If I don't, whatever, all I wanted was crit rate amp. So that's something to consider. Uh, hot tip as well, so if you come back to the Velvet Room, you can see um, with the EXP bonus, you can actually see um, in the bottom corner, so you can see here the level 61. So next level skill is Myriad Arrows, as we saw on the uh, calculator, and it's learned at level 61. So you can see these flashing numbers, and you can see the flashing question marks. And essentially what it means is all the flashing icons, so the level 61 flash, the first question mark flash and the second question mark flash flashing yellow it means that you will learn those three specific skills it means the last skill is the skill that you will not learn because you will not have enough exp to get to that certain level which in our case is level 66 to learn pierce amp for bishamo 10 um, and it just means that you will have to grind that even with the bonus xp now obviously this stuff can be completely toppled over on its head and whatnot if you get the um the bonus Arcana card in Tartarus, which gives you additional EXP um, towards a social, uh, towards a Persona Fusion, um, and that can obviously help as well. So I do highly recommend if you're going to fuse Personas, definitely do it in Tartarus when you do have that Arcana card. Um, if you do get that Arcana card, that Arcana card gets unlocked, I believe, in September. So you probably won't be able to do it before September anyway. <laughs> um, but just something to keep in mind. But yeah, that's another way of knowing what abilities that you will learn through the EXP rank up system by your social link bonuses. Okay, so now I'm going to go through basically um, what um, personas that I will not consider getting. Um, and this basically essentially goes through and sort of uh, not really waste your time in getting specific personas. Just because a persona is at a particular level, like for example, level 60, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be good. Or it just basically, it could mean that it will do the same thing as a persona that you already have. 
So for example, I'll take Bashama 10 again as an example. So Bashama 10 is pretty much a physical damage dealer with Maragidine, right? Maragidine. So I can go to myself and say, well, pierce damage and then pierce boost and whatnot. It's like, do I really need pierce damage? It's like, well, you know, I'm using Argus in my team or maybe I have another persona that has pierce damage. Like, do I really need a level 60 Bashama 10? I think to myself, no, nah, I, pr I probably don't. So then sometimes I'll just go, okay, well, I'm not going to fuse the Bashama 10 because I don't really need it. So another good example is, for example, I come down here. Okay, so let's just say I want, you know, this Atropos, uh, level 56 fortune I kind of go, oh yeah, that's pretty cool, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool. And I go, oh yeah, it's weak to fire, okay, whatever, that's pretty cool. And I go, oh yeah, it learns my, my Garula, my Rakunda, Dekunda, Zardine. And I think to myself, hang on a second, I already have someone that has Magarudine, or I already have someone who has Maziodine, or even, you know, or even Thunder Rain. I think to myself, well, if I already have a more powerful persona that already has those particular moves, then I don't really necessarily need this persona either. So I would just sort of be like, okay, well, 56 Atropos, I'll probably just skip. So on the flip side to that, that's how I usually choose what personas to skip. So I don't really waste my time. Now, don't forget if you are completing the compendium, however, obviously you will need to fuse every single persona. So it doesn't really matter at that stage. However, when you're going through the game, you don't necessarily have to. So you don't have to waste... Um, unnecessary resources and time and exp grinding and money grinding in order to get these particular um, personas right all right so another good thing to know is basically um, is about weaknesses so obviously um, some personas have a lot of weaknesses some have one some have none um, but basically if a weakness happens and you get exposed from a weakness through tartarus or a boss fight obviously they're gonna want more as well which basically is you know, it's, it's not good for the opponent to get one mores because it just definitely puts you into, into a lot more danger. So, in the example of Mishaguchi, so if we go back to our uh, calculator, so as you can see, Mishaguchi is actually weak to ice. So it can null electricity, null dark, but it's actually weak to ice. So I think to myself, okay, well, so I have a look. Mishaguchi can't learn uh, null ice, which means I need someone who can learn null ice, right? So all I do. Um, in order to show up a weakness. Now, again, this is just the basic principles, but it's essentially will apply to pretty much every persona fusion that you can get. So basically what I do is I go to skill list. So in the same persona fusion calculator, I can go to skill list. And I'll just do a control F and look for null ice. And as you can see, it'll tell you, cool, null ice, nullify ice damage on, on oneself. And it also tell you how to acquire the Null Ice. So you can acquire it by getting King Frost to level 39. And this applies to pretty much everything here. So for example, Null Dark, I can get it from Dysordra at level 65. Uh, null Charm, I can get it from Liana Side at 26. Or I can just instantly fuse an Arahabaki to get Null Charm, etc, etc. So then basically what we need to do is go, okay, cool. So first of all, I need a King Frost to level 39. So, you know, you'll go through and you can even just fuse a King Frost. You know, you go through and have a look at, you can sort by level, sort by race, which is your arcana, price, etc., etc. And I go, cool, I'm, I'm going to use Orpheus. And okay, well, Thor, you're probably not going to have Thor. But let's just say the lowest rank, you'll probably be, okay, cool, I can fuse. Okay, well, you're not going to have RC. Uh, you can go like Lamia, Jikokuten, for example. And I go, cool, I will learn King Frost. And I need to get King Frost level 39 to learn Null Ice. Now, once you have this, Null Ice is a very, very, very good skill, obviously. It's a good passive to have, especially with personas who are weak against ice. Make sure, make sure you register the persona once you get it to level 39. Because if you don't register the persona and you fuse it away, the next time you want to buy back a King Frost to fuse, you go, oh, crap, I forgot there's... You know, King Frost, this King Frost that I never registered doesn't have Null Ice. Shit. Then you have to do all that grinding again, all that, you know, uh, unnecessary stuff again, basically, um, in order to get Null Ice again. So make sure if you're getting a specific ability that you want, you register that persona once you hit that ability. So that is very, very important. Okay, so now I go back to Misuguchi, right? And I go, okay, cool. So what I need is I need a King Frost. So I sort by level King Frost at 34. And I need to fuse King Frost with Null Ice with something else in order to get to Misuguchi to Null and inherit the skill. 
So the other thing you have to want to make sure is that that you can inherit the the skill. So most passive skills, um, I'm pretty sure all personas can inherit most passive skills. So you don't have to worry about it in that instance. However, if you're going for a four element uh, persona that has all the uh, Maziodan, Magidan, Mabufudan, Maguruladan, Magarudan, sorry, not Maguruladan, um, you need to make sure that they can actually inherit those four elements. So that's another thing uh, you can have a check by this. So for example, I can't make a four element Michiguchi because Michiguchi cannot inherit ice. So I can scroll down and I get a King Frost and I need to fuse it with Kuruma Tengu. So, you know, you just fuse the Kuruma Tengu, fuse King Frost together and bingo bango, A plus B and you got a Michiguchi. And then all you have to do is just inherit that bad boy, null ice, and then it literally nulls. And that's it. Like you've, you've assured up a weakness and this applies to every single persona fusion. And now just to let you guys know, special fusions are very particular because they revolve more, uh, involve more than two personas, um, which means it's a little bit more technical when you come to fusing those ones. But I'll explain that when I actually go through um, fusing, you know, personas like Orpheus, Telos, Thanatos, etc., etc. But this will, um, or well, this method is valid for the majority of persona fusions. So that's how I usually show up, uh, show up a, a weakness. So here, the same applies to uh, Jatayu of the Sun Arcana, weak to electric, so I need someone with null elect. So all I do is go list of skills, find null elect. So Thunderbird uh, knows null elect at level 41. So I go in, fuse the Thunderbird, get it to level 40, 41, make sure I register the persona again, guys. Make sure you register it. And then all I do is come to Jatayu and have a look. I go, can I fuse Thunderbird with, with that? And I go, oh shit, I actually can't because I need to fuse it with Vishnu or I need to fuse it with Asura. So what do I do in that instance? So what I do is I go into Thunderbird. And then I go to forward fusion. So forward fusion basically means uh, X ingredient plus Thunderbird makes this. So this is the ingredient you need to plus with Thunderbird and this is the result. So I go to level and all I do is I have a look at what I can fuse with Thunderbird to get this. I go back to Jitayu and I have a look at what is specifically that I can get through Thunderbird fusions in order to fuse um, Jatayu. So for example, I'm level 60, right? So I need to fuse something that's under level 60. So an example would be, okay, example I can be is I can fuse, I can use a Kaiwan or a Dion, uh, Dionysus, right? So I go back to Thunderbird to see forward fusions. So can I get a Dionysus or a Kaiwan? I can get a Kaiwan, which means I can fuse Thunderbird with, Ka uh, sorry, with Kuruma Tengu to get a Kaiwan and then I confuse the Kai one. I confuse the Kai one with Chernobog. I confuse the the Kai one with Dionysus as well. That works too, and it will create Jitayu for me, and then I can inherit Null Elect. So that's way uh, another way that you can do it is basically fusing down or up to another persona to inherit the ability, and then fusing that one with another persona to go to Jitayu, for example. So sometimes it's not as clean cut um, as you know, for example, the King Frost learning Null Ice and fusing with something else straight away. Sometimes you have to fuse King Frost with another persona, and then that persona needs to fuse with another one, and then that persona finally can fuse with another one to get to what you want. Now, in some instances, it's actually much faster um, in order to just teach your persona um, a skill, for example. So um, sometimes you don't have to go through and inherit a bunch of skills. So for example, like on my, uh, what is it? Or my Siegfried, for example, like, oh, well, what if I want App Pupil? I want to create a, a persona that can basically just do infinite crits, right? So the good thing about crits in this game is that crits stack. So in most cases, some passives, they will say like does not stack. Okay, well, any boost can stack. So it can say it can stack. It will say does not stack if it can't stack. But with crit in this game, it doesn't say either. Now, people have done a lot of um, sort of research into the numbers, etc. And crit actually does stack. Um, now, I'm not sure if it stacks to a point of diminishing returns, which means if you have like 
six crit skills is it the same crit rate as five crit skills i'm not too sure about those numbers but if you have three crit skills or even four crit skills it pretty much basically means every second um physical attack is going to be a crit so for example with my siegfried i definitely want a crit rate boost i want a crit rate amp um and then i also did want slash boost because it's a slash type obviously and a slash amp now the one thing that i really wanted was the auto masuku um passive skill so auto skills are really good because they give you um you know the the buffs basically automatically at the start of battle and i also want a multi-target boost so for example i wanted to go instead of auto masuku i wanted you know another ability i wanted at pupil so instead of going through and being like oh like far out l let me have a look at the skill list and go okay i need app pupil to fuse to this one to fuse to that one and then finally to fuse the siegfried what i can actually just do is just purely go into my items and go to skill cards and for example do i even have app pupil yeah okay cool i have app pupil and then basically all i do is i go siegfried and i go cool i want to teach app pupil to siegfried i forget auto masuku for example and then you can teach it so you can if you get the skill cards, you can pretty much just, you know, just teach it straight to your persona without having to worry about fusing up or fusing down. Now, obviously, skill cards can be attained a lot through Tartarus. So I've got all these through Tartarus pretty much. Um, you can actually go to the Antiquity Store as well. And the Antiquity Store will also have some skill cards that you can purchase using the gems that you find in um, in uh, in Tartarus as well. So you can see here, you can also get incense. But yeah, you can see here, you can get like Regen, Invigorate. You know divine grace which is amazing shift boost crit rate boost etc etc so you can get a lot of stuff through this as well you can also get arms master spell master and mickey dolan so <laughs> that's something to keep in mind from the antique store and what i highly highly recommend is if you have any of the high level um skill cards um so for example at pupil i would consider quite a high level skill card i've also got you know i've got mataru kaja here i've got boosts which are very useful what i highly highly recommend you do is you actually go to naganaki shrine and naganaki shrine you can actually copy skill cards so you can do this once per day and it doesn't cost uh, uh, any time as well um so you know you won't take over to the evening or, or cost any time so you can still spend time with social etc so basically what you do is you'll pray and then all you do is you can just select the card that you want to uh okay i must have already duplicated the card but basically you just select the skill card that you want to duplicate and it will duplicate that card so in my instance i'm pretty sure what i did was i duplicated a mataru kaju card mataru kaju card sorry there you go uh, so i've got two of those now so that means i can actually just use it twice essentially so if i want to teach it to a particular persona so for example mataru kaju on my titania which is a requirement for one elizabeth request Instead of doing all the fusion possible to get a, t a Titania with Mataru Kaja, I'm just going to teach it this. And I already have another Mataru Kaja because I already copied the card, right? So that's something that you can definitely consider as well. Now, I will talk briefly about special fusions. So special fusions are, as the name, uh, special. And that is purely because they um, basically require more than two personas. So if you go in the Velvet Room, you can select the special fusion icon. And essentially, you can see that these require more than three personas to fuse. So in the instance, for example, like I just finished rank 10 um, on the uh, boy, uh, Pharos. And essentially, I can have a look at the Natos, or I can fuse to the Natos, which is the ultimate persona of the death arcana. And as you can see, it requires basically every other death arcana persona. So you need a Pesaka, you need a Pale Rider, a Loa, a Samael, a Mott, and an Alice. Now, the good thing about special fusions is they don't need to be in your persona stock uh, to fuse. So as long as they're registered in your companion, you can fuse them. But it also means that if you want specific Thanatos um, skills, for example, like, you know, you want something that will rep repel light or something like that, then you need to make sure that one of the residual materials, oh, sorry, not residual, the prerequisite materials, Pesaka, Pale Rider, Loa, etc, etc, has that skill in order to inherit that skill. So again, mostly passive skills can be inherited by everyone. Um, but for example, Thanatos is a dark type, as you can see by my Aegeon and Mamudun. Um, you know, you won't be able to inherit Kogon, for example. And yeah, that's basically my ultimate guide to fusing personas in Persona 3 Reload. 
Um, most of these uh, outlined in this video will work with the majority of personas. Um, I will have a special fusion uh, persona guide. Um, basically, whenever I fuse all the cool looking special fusions, essentially, there will be individual guides for individual uh, personas. I will have a guide as well for a four element persona as well. Um, and yeah, a, a guide for Thanatos, Orpheus Telos, Messiah, etc, etc. So just to summarize uh, basically the video um, and what we went through, because it is quite a lot, I will have timestamps, but feel free to comment down below, feel free to message me on Twitter, DM me, whatever you need to do if you want um, you know, more help. So in summary, basically just use the fusion calculator, it will, it will save you a lot of time. Like seriously, you can go through and fuse by search. Um, I know that's uh, a lot of people do do that and that's a fine method to do that um, especially if you're just going through the playthrough like a blind playthrough and then maybe your second playthrough or your new game plus playthrough you'll try to complete the companion but fusion calculator saves lives seriously so consider the personas you can fuse near your level um, this is a great starting point to see what you can currently get um, and then obviously you can go from there um, there is eventually that you will get an iconic card that allows you to fuse personas five levels above you but that's not until like really really late game so if you're still sort of in the early to mid game um, then just consider what you can get at your starting level and then consider what you need you know if, if you need uh, particular elements um, or infinities I would recommend that you have at least a persona that has a persona that has uh, each individual uh, affinity or maybe even a persona that has double affinities um, because it'll get you through Tyrus just a lot easier and then it'll manage your SP so much better as well uh, just look at the innate skills and what skills they can learn. So the innate skills are basically the skills um, that you know essentially are what they will learn through fusion and then the level up skills are what they could learn. Just use the fusion calculator to see what they could learn and, and then just go from there. Um, it's just a lot less effort to, to do it and then save and then <laughs> you know do it again just to see the skills and then um, if in case you don't want a skill as well. Um, consider social link bonuses so i already showed you social link bonuses and what they could potentially be so for example again on this bavadi uh, you can see that i will get the level 49 skill i will also get the next level up skill and the next level up skill after that but i will not get the final level up skill so that that's another reason why you should always do um, social link bonuses um, and try and spread them out as even as possible so you can get the most amount of xp sort of throughout the game through multiple different um, arcana classes of persona just use skill cards if you need to like you can always copy them to get more it's really not an issue to you know to to, to copy them essentially you can you can grab a couple of great ones at the uh, antique shop just use them if you need to um sometimes it's just quicker that way sometimes you know especially for the um the uh, persona uh sorry for the elizabeth requests like sometimes it's just so much easier just to use a skill card to get that over the line to complete the request instead of you know, having to faff around with all the <laughs> different persona combinations and fusions um just just use them you can copy them at the shrine just just use them okay and lastly um just save uh just make sure you save before doing any type of fusion especially if you're going between multiple different fusions and the reason being is because you can get fusion mistakes in this game um, which essentially means that it won't fuse into the persona that you get it'll fuse into something else completely random um, and it could be, you know, a good thing, uh, you, you know, you could get a pretty good persona from it with, that learns pretty good skills, or you may not, just make sure you save, because you don't want to be repeating or rebuying personas for fusion, because it does cost a lot of money eventually, and it's just not a fun thing to, to do, and it kind of just wastes a bit of time, especially if you have limited time. And also skill changes as well, so occasionally you can get a skill change, it will flash what skills will be changing, so you can either choose to accept or ignore them. Um, sometimes if it's a skill for example that's so for example you're fusing and you need null ice and then the skill change says okay well it's going to change null ice well it's not going to change null ice into something better or into a better passive skill right what it'll do is it's completely random so you could get you could get aggie <laughs> for example right you could get aggie and then you went from null ice which is a great skill great passive skill and what you required to aggie which is pretty much not what you wanted at all so thanks for watching everyone, I uh, really appreciate it. If you enjoy the video, definitely leave a like and subscribe. Uh, it definitely, definitely helps out the channel a lot and I appreciate everyone's support on the recent videos lately. I will be continuing to making more guides 
um, and more tutorials, I'll, you know, more walkthroughs, whatever you guys want, I'll continue to make. Um, currently, I have Elizabeth requests in the works. Um, obviously, there's 101 requests, so I really need to get to it. Um, and I also have each individual social link and how to rank them up to max rank, um, which includes prerequisites and other requirements uh, throughout the actual rank itself. Um, and I also will have a complete summary of all the cool things that you can do and all the little tips and tricks that I picked up from Persona 3 Reload, which will be coming later. Um, and yeah, that's all the videos I have in the works, so it's, it's a very busy period, but you keep supporting the videos and I'll keep smashing out the videos. So thanks for watching everyone um, and have a great day and uh, good luck in Tartarus. Oh